Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 12 of Agrarian Skies with Pahimar. What's up, buddy? Not too much, how about you? Oh, you know, just hanging out. I have an empty Tesseract frame, and I've got four reinforced uh, strong boxes because that's what I need to make for our deep storage unit quest. That's what I'm kind of working on, because you've tasked me with doing uh, the, the For the Hoarding quest. Yep, and I've taken over the liquids. Ooh. So go with the flow. Like It seems to me like one of the first things you're going to need is some fluid management stuff, so you're going to have to do some, some ME stuff as well. Right. Yep. So while we were gone, I went ahead and made up a bunch of ME cables, and I've ready to make a whole bunch more flux dust and a bunch of silicone and stuff. Because I think we're going to be getting into A very quickly. Yeah, no, I think that's like the next big infrastructure build. And it's also in line with some of the quests we have to do. So it's probably going to work out pretty well for us. Because once we have AE infrastructure in place, that's really going to, you know, make things better. Oh, by the way, I increased the size of our smeltery back here that was handling iron and copper. Cause, oh, yeah, you well, did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, a little bit. Well, here was, there was two things actually going on. Number one, it seems like iron and copper are two of the more common ores that we get. And it also seems to me that that's the one I chose to put together with, like, the one smeltery that has a third metal going into it. So... Long story short, this guy was getting backlogged, and the rest weren't, so I decided to make that one larger, but not these. Um, these guys aren't getting too backstuffed. I mean, they're usually kind of low on usage, but because this has three different metals going into it, and two of them are the more common ones, I figured, yeah, let's 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 do it. Hey, pretty soon we're actually going to be able to smelt ourselves some cobalt and some ardite. Yeah, probably. Do we have a decent amount of that stuff yet? I mean, it's still pretty rare. Oh, uh, yeah, we've only got six of them at the moment. Yeah, it's still pretty rare, but I mean, that's that's a lot more than what we had last time. I guess. Do we need that stuff for anything? I don't think so. I haven't seen it yet. Good. I know you've <laughs> got a head start on some start. of this stuff, too, because you already have a ton of uh, cobblestone being built up. you got a ton of oak wood over there because of our farm. Yeah. And I've I also I'll got be... soul sand going on in the basement. Yeah, and I think I'll be okay. We got a good amount of mob essence going on right now. I might be able to turn that one in pretty quickly. Nice. Do you know how many buckets you need? Oh, I got an enderpearl. Enderpearl, nice. Yeah, let's get running. What are you going to make? I'm going to make the deep storage unit, so we'll have a quest stand in here in just a moment. Unless there's a second stage to it. Uh, I don't think there is for that one. I'll come over here and check that out before I get started on the ME stuff. Cool. Do you know how to make a test fact? Uh, I got a good idea, but I'll come check it out. Yeah, you just have to. It's in the end, you need a total of eight ender pearls. At the moment, I'm in the stage where I'm turning a test fact frame into a full one by filling it up with ender liquid. You get um, you get a quarter of a bucket per ender pearl, so you need four for the thousand millibuckets that you need here. Um, and that should be that. Uh, let's see, I think these guys go on the top and sides and stuff. And All right, dude, let's see what happens. Uh, for the hoarding, unclean reward. You ready? Ready, what one are you picking? I'll do left. I'll do right. Cool. I'm just gonna consume this art. Dun dun! And I've got Invar Shears. And I have 64 Glowstone Nook. Ooh, what? 64 Glowstone what? Oh, like micro blocks. Yeah, but what's actually yeah, cool about it is they actually work as light sources. Yeah, they do emit light, I know. I've got Invar Shears. I think that's our I second that's set. Our... That's awesome. Are those enchanted? Are those enchanted? No. As far as I can tell, no. We have uh, 17 lives. You are correct. That is our second set of Invar Shears. Yeah, no, right? All right. So, uh, well, we've got deep storage units now, so we can kind of just put these somewhere. I'm going to put them in, the, uh, in one of our, our general stuff chest in case we ever need them. And so you know what's what? next on the agenda? What's that? AE is next. It's literally next for you. I know. I saw, like, digital storage there. Oh, yeah, it's the whole gambit of AE stuff. And we're going to get two full hearts and a reward bag for that. Yeah, this is a pretty big one. Yeah, you I'll know what? I'll be able to help with this because the 
things I need to do for go with the flow, the fluid export bus and the fluid import bus actually require making the precision export and the precision import. Yep. So we'll be able to knock off two birds with one stone in this. Cool. Well, yep. if you want to work on those two pieces of it, I'll get the other four, and that'll be four crafting things each for us. Sounds good. Um, where do you want to build our AE storage system? Do we want to put it downstairs and then have just, you know, connections leading up top for us to access? Like, I'm thinking in our basement is where we should have, like, the main... Yeah, I agree. I think area. right, like, in here. And you're gone. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I went down. And you, oh. Right, so like somewhere down here, I'm thinking we just put the ME storage system near the power lines, actually. Um, so I don't know which set of, uh, you know, what we want to do with it, but somewhere near these power connections is where we're going to want to have our ME system. Yeah, we could we're probably, probably like right power. along this wall here. How about like right along here? That works. That works. Like the basis of an AE system really isn't that much space. Like that is like tops, and I doubt we'll even use that much. Like, to begin, all we really need is the ME controller and, like, maybe one disk drive. I, I think it wants okay. us to make a crafting... Yeah, that'll be the terminal. That'll, I'll, yeah, it wants I'll the put crafting that up terminal. top. Terminal. Yeah, that's just where we get our items from. That'll go up top here so that we have access to them. Well, it looks like we could build a laser drill now, too. Sweet. All right, so let me get started. Uh, do you want to come back after we've got some of this crafting done? I think so. All right, and then we'll start working on an A system, and that will be very useful for us because it'll make it a lot easier. There's a creeper up here. Where did he come from? Probably your expanded uh, um, iron smelter here. He probably got up on top. I'm going to guess so, yeah. I know what I can he use. I can use these glowstone ducks. All right, I just want to see because I put it in F7 mode, and I don't see. Oh, yeah, look at that up here. Huh, cool. There we go, all fixed. Oh, I didn't get to use my nook. Nope. Nook blocked. You can actually probably combine those into glowstone blocks if you want. Oh, we got loads of glowstone. Yeah, I guess we do. We have seven and a half stacks of them. Okay, back in a minute, guys. All right, Mr. Pahamar, I've got what I need to make. I, How are you doing? I can make the things I need to make, too. Okay, well, I already made the things I need to make. Yep, I got my four done. You were going to make the position import and export buses, right? Yep, and I just made those. Cool. I agree. So you ready to claim reward? Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, we got four lives out of doing that, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I used my two. As did I. 21 lives remaining. All right, reward bag time. I got... The cake is a lie. I got a greater bag, and it is... 16 more advanced drawbridge. That's kind of cool. Bringing us to a total of 32. Yeah, not bad. So I can now actually go and do mine. Because I, wanna, I need I want to make a note here that we have four lie cakes right now. Well, hey, Soren laid another egg. Hey, did. Good job, Soren. Soren, you're Alright, so, um, ready to hand in and go with the flow? I'm just about to make it. Okay. I need two buckets. I have one on me. I just made two. Okay. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. Okay. And I'll go with the middle bag. I'll go with the left. Oh, wait, there's fluid storage. You have to have to make a ME fluid storage monitor. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's a second piece to it. ME fluid storage. Fluid storage monitor. Oh, look at that. ME fluid level emitter. That's cool that they have those. Um, extra cells looks pretty cool. Yeah, oh, we just need another basic processor. Okay, I have one of those. Oh, you have one of those? I made extras. Of course. That's a potato. There you go. Potato. That's also yeah. right. That's what you need. I'm watching Biomar craft. He doesn't know it. I'm crafting. Do you buy it? Nope, I'm watching. I'm actually like, Tinker Tables update other clients when they watch, unlike the vanilla crafting tables. So I'm actually I need watching what you're putting in. Die. Would you get me a piece of lapis and I'll make a piece of wool? 
I would happily. We need blue dye, huh? I'm Pot Mars Soren today. And I need two iron. Two iron. This is my chest of random things I usually need. There you are, sir. And there cool. we go. Fluid storage monitor. Okay. Now you need a liquid crafter and a cyclic assembler. Wow. We didn't wow. think this through too well, did we? No. I'm going to go install our ME system while you craft that stuff. How's that sound? That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. Did you have extra um, cables, by the way? There's a stack of 64. Oh, that's a, that's a lot. Okay, I'll take it. Where is that liquid crafter? Dum 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 dum. Liquid crafter is from MFR, I believe. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Portable tanks, plastic sheets. Okay. All right, we've got an ME system. <laughs> Just trying to decide where I might want us to have our first crafting terminal at. You know what? I might put it like right over here by all these doohickeys. You're so technical. Thank you. I'm going to get rid of this manual oak sieve and uh, move it somewhere. And then maybe I'll put it like... I've got this cool guy going on. Um, maybe like right here. That wouldn't be terrible, right? Just checking that that's not going to cause monsters to spawn. That looks safe enough. I tell my viewers are like, oh, you craft so slow. <laughs> yeah, Bahamar is pahi slow. Hey, I don't always have jump crowds like you do. Well. Shots fired. Shots fired. Maybe you should. Shots fired. Oh. Viewers, Direwolf's getting sassy again. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, I just fell through a fence. That was very scary, because I'm, like, over the void. Maybe I shouldn't be this risky. I got a liquid crafter. Oh, we need the cyclic assembler, too, don't we? Yes. Those shouldn't be too hard to craft. Cool. Crafting terminal online. Sweet. We've got crafting, Mr. Mar. Nice. Uh, I should be able to... All right, first AE system up and running. Um, debating if I should make an auto crafter now or if we should wait a little bit. Like they're pretty expensive resource wise, but then again, we have a junk ton of resources. So I don't think we have a problem with that. There we go. We are ready, ready to for handing? Handing? Pick in the left. Okay, let's do left. it. All right, you're taking left, I'm going to take middle. Wow, that gave us a 64k fluid storage? Nice, that's probably pretty expensive, I would imagine. Yeah, it is. Um, okay. I have Emirath stairs. Nice, I got a full set of diamond armor. Well, aren't you just amazing? With protection 5 and thorns 5 on it. All right, well then, you are now the Wisp Slayer. 
The wisp flying has been made hand, uh, easy, remember? That's true. I don't think I want to wear that right now. I'm going to like put it in the chest because I'll just fall into the void with it. When we're ready to fight the wither or something, I'll wear that. All right, so what I think I'm going to do, Pahamar, is um, should I set up auto-crafting? I think I might want to set up auto-crafting. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, and then what we can do is we can start crafting some storage buses and start connecting to all these um, barrels that we have. Sounds good. Okay, cool. First, um, let's set up this uh, liquid crafter and the fluid storage monitor. Mm, whatever you want. Uh, I've got some um, the items that I just got. I'm going to put into our AE system. That sound cool? There we go. Cool. Perfect. Um, all right, guys. I will be back in just a moment. What's up, Mr. Pahamar? Well, I got thinking. Uh, we have that lovely fluid system we just did for AE, but we also have this yeah, have quest those. delivery system. We got a uh -huh. decent amount of mob goo now. Why don't How we much try? do we need? We need 160,000 millibuckets. 160,000 millibuckets. So that's 160 buckets? Yep. That doesn't sound terrible. No, it doesn't. And I don't think we, we have enough right now. No, we have like... We might. Well, we might. No, we have like 9,000, don't we? Or are you pumping it out already? Well, let's pump it. Okay. Well, that's only 9,000, so we have a long way to go, don't we? Well, let's see. You can actually watch it in real time in the quest book. Yeah, no. It's cool. Uh, let's see. Mob essence. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cool. Oh, you did you already pump some in there? I'm just pumping it in now. Okay, cool. Oh, we're, that's a decent oh, chunk, so chunk so far. Yeah, I see how the tanks work different. They don't account for the entire... When you... Okay. That's yeah. what I was thinking that's when I was looking at it. I don't think we have well, enough for the whole of it, but... Exactly. See, there's the 90,000 right there. Yeah. So this won't be all of it, but it'll be a good amount. It'll be close. We're at 70%. You're going to be real close. Booyah. You might actually be able to uh, be pretty close on the oak wood, too, now. Yeah, oak wood shouldn't be too bad. Oh, 90. Okay. Oh, we're dry at 93%. Aww. Oh. Turn that off for now, and we'll come back to that later. What are you working on? I'm getting ready to build the AE Auto Crafter. Nice. Oh, this is big. Yes, um, it's a multi-block. Now, I thought the Auto Crafter was 4x4. Four four. It's a uh, variable size. Ah, what's the largest it can be? Um, I don't know if there's a limit. Be honest with you um there's not one listed on his wiki as far as i can tell uh the smallest is three by three by three um but it doesn't really list uh, uh largest but the more stuff you put in there like there's there's two things that can go into the center there's the um crafting cpu which determines how many crafting operations it can do at a time so if you only have one in there it's like pretty slow to craft large complex things but if you have like five or six it's a lot faster and then there's uh storage patterns which determine how many things you can craft like how many different recipes you can store in there oh, okay so okay. i'm gonna go with five by five and that should be pretty close to enough hey now. dire hey dire yes sir mob goo is done already wow yep, that's cool we're at 100 percent. nice you want to pick a bag uh i could pick a bag I'm going to pick bag number four. Okay, I'm going to pick bag number one. Dyer, I have an epic bag. Oh, I have a greater bag. I have uh, diamond chest. Oh, I got the uh, diamond armor. Same as nice. you. Protection and uh, thorns. I got paper that's enchanted with respiration three. Oh, uh, you got a troll reward. I did. I got respiration three paper. You got an epic reward, and I got a troll reward. Wow. I have still so many more liquids to do. 
Yeah. Bio All right, so um, my calculations is I need 30 plus 12, 42 um, of, the mo of the walls for this thing. So... Let's do it. I, All with right. your permission, would like to open up some safari nets. Uh, open some? Yep. I'll do it in I'll a closed space so that we can maybe grab them. Okay. Because my plan is I would like to, anytime we open a safari net, be ready to capture it in a reusable safari net so that we can respawn these things. But are you saying that that's not that easily doable? I don't know, but a lot of my future uh, quests involve either sewage, liquid meat, or milk. Okay. So I'm going to need to get some mobs going soon. Right. Oh, watch out. By the way, I'm digging into the floor back here. Heap. Don't hurt me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do whatever you need. That's cool. I mean, just make sure they don't die, because if we want to capture them in a safari net later for, you know, whatever purposes that we need. Okay, I'm going to go build out a space for them. Okay, I'm going to build this uh, auto crafter. I guess we'll be back in a few minutes then. All right, guys, I think we're back, and me and Pahamar have been doing a little bit of work. Pahamar, guess what we're low on? Uh, we're low redstone. on something. Uh, redstone. Yeah, we're low on redstone. Like I've been building a lot of things, and of course, redstone's one of those things that like you need a lot of sometimes. We've got like less than two stacks at the moment, so I'm actually expanding our pulverizers and everything um, to handle more stuff. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Yeah, I'm doing that. Do we have a fluid duct laying around? Yeah, we do. So I need to expand like a little bit of the infrastructure here. That's what I'm working on right now uh, to basically do this. So that should allow power to come into these guys. Now power should be actually building up again. We should be getting a surplus of power. Or a moment ago, we were probably getting a loss of power. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. What are you doing? Well, I just put in a barrel to catch the extra cobblestone that's coming from our magma gen. Because there is still a slight amount of extra cobble. So we yeah. should see that start to increase re uh, soon. Yeah, there we go. There's a bunch. So it's just clearing out the backstuffed pipes. So oh, okay. I just immediately nice. jumped to like five sacks. Nice. And then I was also cleaning up the way we're gathering items from the mob spawner. Oh yeah, oh, and I opened oh, yeah. up some safari nets. Oh. Would you like to see what we got? I would love to see what we got. I'm just checking to make sure that this dust thing is all working properly at the moment. So while Direwolf's doing that, I'll show that uh, we are still collecting mob essence because we're going to want to try that for mob spawners. And all the common drops from the mob spawner are going into these barrels, and all the extras are going into this chest. Where are you, Mr. Wolf? I'm trying to figure out why this thing isn't working. This actually should be totally working right now, and it's not, and I'm not entirely sure why. I don't think there's any redstone signals here. Why isn't this working all of a sudden? What have you done? I don't know. Yeah, I shouldn't need a servo in there. I have a spare servo if you need it. No, you shouldn't. Like, this thing should be pulling out of here, and it's just not. It's like, nah, I don't feel like it. That's pretty weird. Oh, wait, 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 I know. There we go. Now it should be behaving. 
What'd nice. you do? What'd you do? I had to set the this thing to blue instead of orange. Oh yeah. You can't see it when the pipe item duck thing is there, so it's tricky. Oh, sometimes. so the minute I popped right. it off. Yeah, I noticed. All right, so that's cool. That's working now. Um, we're low on redstone. Right? That's why I added another dust one so that we would get more dust going on. Um, I've got the AE auto crafter going, by the way. Nice. Yeah, come on downstairs. So how does that work? Show you real quick. Uh, right down here. So see how inside there's basically um, two different types of blocks. Like the top row here are pattern providers, and the bottom row are crafting CPUs. Yep. So for every crafting CPU, that's like more um, craftings you can do at a time. And for every pattern provider, that's like a bunch of, um, that's one page in this chamber now. So if you look at the multi-block, you'll see there's like a bunch of blank pattern slots. So if we ever need more oh. than four pages of this, we'll need to expand the size. So we use the pattern encoder to store patterns inside of here, and then it'll show up right. in the crafting terminal that the item is not necessarily an inventory, but that we can craft it. Right. So like, see how I put blank patterns in the top slot of this pattern encoder? Ah. So now we just, if you click in code, see how it made that thing? And you can see on the tooltip what it makes and what it needs. So then I put it so in the yep. molecular assembler chamber. Yep, and then come upstairs with me. Where is it? You can search on the top. Oh. Oh, you know what? Hang on. One sec. Is it something we need to set up? Yeah, I have to actually like connect the auto crafter to the system with. Oh cable. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Derpy do. Now it should be listed. There it is. Cool. So you can click on it, request one, and it'll craft it for you using the ingredients within the system. Very nice. I can think of one that we should put in there. Oh, the, we'll, we'll put a lot in, don't worry. <laughs> What's cool is you can use any eye to shift click the question mark into that pattern provider, so it's real easy to program your patterns. I'll give that a try. Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead and set up a pattern or two, or whatever you want to get. Um, in the meantime, what I want to make is a crafting monitor. Probably make it over here because I've got most of the stuff I need. Let's see. Like I'll probably teach it how to convert like blocks into ingots and such. Well, I just added pistons and sticky pistons. Because we're going to need cool. a lot of those. Yes, you will. So if you come down or come back upstairs now, you'll see that I've added a crafting monitor. Very nice. Very nice. And what that does, it'll show you what it's currently crafting and if it's missing any materials for what it's trying to craft. So like if you tell it to make a piston and it's out of redstone, it'll tell you that in that monitor there. And then as soon as you give it redstone, it'll pick back up and continue along its way. This is a pretty nice system. Right? It's very fancy. Like, once you get the hang of it, and you can shift-click your recipes in there, so, like, look up the recipe for a piston and shift-click it into the um, crafting terminal on the top. Well, and you'll I, see that it'll, like... Well, I did add it, actually, it. into the uh, assembler downstairs. I know. I'll do it for anything, right? Let's see. Hmm... Oh, look at that. So yeah, it like fills in everything except what's not there. Very nice. Um, very nice. And uh and then it's it's very cool. It's 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 a very nice system. One sec I'm I'm breaking things and rearranging. Well I'll leave it for now. I don't have any cables on me. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make either. this a little bit fancier looking in the future. Would you be interested in seeing the creatures we got? 
I would. Can I can I steal let your me, way? Um, let me teach this thing a storage bus real quick. Well, I need more blank patterns anyway, so. All right, so what'd you get? Oh, you set up some more stuff down here underneath this guy. Nice. Yep, so you yeah, can see this is We've got a nice set of barrels set up. Yeah, we still haven't gotten a lot of ender pearls recently, but... We've got a dozen. That's pretty good. And if you come over here... This guy's empty, because you'll understand why in a second. So the first one I opened up, we got a horse. Oh, nice. Hello, Mr. Horse. And the second one, we got a big slime, which promptly broke into small slimes. Cool. And in this one, we got a cow, and the pig went to go hang out with the cow. The pig oh, was in nice this pig. one, but a pig can jump yeah. out of a one by one hole. <laughs> so I needed to put a glass pane in here to make sure Piggy stays put. Gotcha. Well, that's excellent, because now with this mob okay. essence, we should be able to start spawning them. Okay, cool. Yes, we should. Uh, we'll just need to get safari nets and uh, um, the, the auto spawner. I might make another crafting terminal for downstairs as well, so that when I'm working down there, I can, you know, get stuff. You know what? It only takes four ender pearls and a gas tier. We have a bunch of gas tiers. Yeah, no, it's not a, it's not a terribly bad recipe. The MFR auto spawner is also not a bad recipe. I should try and get us a bunch of cows. Let's see what you're working on. I'm making us uh, another crafting terminal for downstairs. That's a good idea. So, like, eventually what you'll wind up with is just a bunch of stuff all over the place, right? I wonder if I should move one of the elevators over here. Presuming you don't, uh, like, you don't fall like through it. Fall. Yeah, again. One time. One time. That's all. That's all I needed. All right, so let's get. And, oh, there's so many things I'm gonna have to teach this thing how to make. Well, we're, we're definitely gonna wanna use storage buses a lot. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, cable. Teach you how to make that. And I'm out of resources again, so we're gonna have to start migrating and doing all kinds of crazy things to get this stuff up and running the way we want. Um, one thing I wouldn't mind teaching it is, let's see. So can this guy actually interface with the thermal expansion machines and know how to craft using them? Uh, yes, you can. Very nice. I just want to double check that I'm still getting ender pearls. Hmm. That's what I wanted. It's silly, but I'm teaching it stuff like block of iron equals iron ingots and Certus quartz dust equals certus quartz. Like I'm teaching it those patterns because it's going to be useful for auto crafting. Because like if we've got a bunch of blocks stored there and we request an auto craft, it's not going to know how to turn blocks into iron unless you specifically tell it. So, I think that's pretty good. So yeah, we've got the, the a very good start to our auto crafting system here, bud. Uh, do you want to see how to make uh, these machines do stuff? I think it'd be excellent. Okay, let me get the resources ready, and we'll be right back. Or maybe not in a few minutes, Bob Mar. I think we might have to wait till next episode to go over that, because it's wrapping up point. Oh, really? Yeah, I know. It stinks, but oh, it's the way of the world. Oh, wow, we have a stack of redstone. <laughs> well, I see that adding another dust processor certainly helped. It, it would. Yeah, it definitely did. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we start backlogging on stuff. Because we've got too much of anything. Is there anything we have like a, a silly amount of? Like we're pretty high on flint. We might want to upgrade this barrel at some point. 
But other than that, we don't have like too much of anything. Yeah, we haven't gone crazy anything in here. Yeah. All right, so I think we got to wrap up the episode here. So what do you say, Mr. Potmar? We'll do that, and then next episode we'll come back. We'll build more AE automation, and I'm I'm interested to see. There's probably some other stuff besides the for the hoarding. Like we're gonna want to start the infrastructure on the hoarding stuff, but um, there's probably some other quests we'll also want to start working on just because. Yeah, I'm thinking that probably bees would be a good idea, because at least while they're like doing their bee thing, we could be doing other yeah, stuff. Do right. But then there's the magic stuff. What's a Terra storage cluster? That looks expensive. Giga storage cluster. Mega storage cluster. Kilo storage cluster. Wow, that's a lot of storage clusters. Oh, she's making me craft like the most complicated thing ever. Yay oh, yeah. for auto crafting. That's going to be brutal. Oh, wow. I was totally I off on how much oak we that. needed. It's not 10,000. It's a million. Oh, we need a million oak? We need a million oak. Oh, that's a lot. Well, we've currently got almost 10,000. <laughs> we are close to 1%. Close to 1%. Yay. Wow, wow. that's, that's going to hurt. This I think might, we're going to have to, like... Here's what this we gotta series do. might go to 2015. Now, here's what we got to do. What we have to do is basically build more. infrastructure... I'm I'm pretty good at building infrastructure that will run indefinitely. What we need to do is do that and then start setting up chunk loaders. Yeah. Yeah. So that this stuff will run even when we're not online. Because right now we don't have any chunk loaders set up. So like, yeah, we've got 10,000 wood, but like legitimately that's only been running for an hour or two of time that we've been online. When we log off, that's not operating, right? So Correct. if we had chunk loaders going on, that would take like maybe a couple days of offline time. So not the end of the world. Right? Yep. And I mean the same with the soul sand, right? Like I think you even borrowed some soul sand and we're up to fifty stacks already. Oh yeah. So we're good there too. Like that thing's cruising. And again, that's only been while we're online. All right, guys, so we definitely have to wrap up. So uh, Daryl20, Pahamar, wrapping up uh, this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back next episode. We've got lots of stuff to do. All right, guys, take it easy. Take it easy, guys.